Like, I cut off almost all of my ears. <laughs> Barb's Nation, it's a girl Asia, and today I'm back with another video. I'll be telling you how I grew my hair so dramatic over the past few months. Um, I will be showing you the products that I use, how to use it, when to use it, and what's their purpose, what they, what can it, what does it do for your hair. Okay, I'll be looking down, so when I'm looking down, I'm looking at, because I wrote down the tip. First thing I want to get out there is that all hair grows different. Everybody is different. Everybody hair is different. The texture, how it grows, their genetics. So it, 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 it all depends on your genetic, on how fast your hair grows. Like you know how people have, how to get you, how to make your hair grow fast in one week, all that. I don't think that can work for everybody. Um, everybody hair grows different at different time. So I don't really believe in growing your hair in one day overnight. I really don't believe in that stuff. So yeah, everybody hair grows different. Maybe yours, your hair will start growing in one week. Maybe um, the other person it will start growing in the next month or in a year. So it all depends. All you have to do is have patience with your hair. Okay, so first of all, the first tip is do not manipulate your hair. Don't manipulate your hair. That means being a hair 24-7. I mean, yeah, that's just, that's like, I'd say somebody texting you every second of the day. Like, that's annoying. I don't think that works. Yeah, so don't manipulate your hair. If you put your hair in a ponytail, leave it for like a week, couple days, or do it in a two puff or something. Don't manipulate your hair. So yeah, that's the first tip. The second tip is split ends. Everybody have split ends. The thing is, it's not good. Like, you have to trim it. So the last time I trimmed my split ends was January, before my birthday. Or, yeah, before my birthday, which is the 16th. Yeah, trim your split ends because if you leave it there for a long while, then it's gonna split. It's um, it's gonna split like the old strand in your ear, and then you're gonna have to like basically cut, cut off the strand there. And so just split your, just trim your split ends. Just trim it like every four months. I know it's been seven months since I haven't. I need to trim my split ends. So I mean, it's not terrible right now, but I need to trim it. I'm going to trim it before school start back. So yeah when i trim my the first time i trimmed my split ends my mom was so upset because she thought that because i cut <laughs> i cut like majority of my ear off that's how my ear actually starts because i was wondering my ear was i'm gonna show some pictures of how my hair how sharp my hair was and what it is to me my hair was short and I was wondering why wasn't it growing because like I'm doing I'm watching all these YouTube videos I'm doing routines washing my hair every week and all that I was wondering what's going on like why isn't my hair growing so I come across split ends and I start I, I really because I didn't know what split ends was like I really didn't so I did some research on split ends and for those who doesn't know what split ends is Split ends is like when one strand of a hair split into two. And if you leave it there long enough, it's gonna split the old strand go down and then your ear is just gonna be damaged. So, and you don't want that. So, yeah, I did some research, find out what it was, and then I finally, so I did it, I did it myself. Cause, but when I did it, I did it too much. <laughs> My mom was so upset though, but, it was it was for it was it come the results come out properly because after that I swear it just my hair just start grow it just start grow plus the products that I'm what the products that I'm using help as well. First tip is don't manipulate your hair and the second tip is um trim your trim your ends. 
the product the growing product the growing product that I use like you know that's how you have a growing product like to grow your hair I use wild growth hair oil if you if you watch my last video my iPod video you would see that I'm using this product yeah you can get it off Amazon you can get it at the air store or yeah you're supposed to get it anywhere I don't I really don't remember how much my mom paid for this but so yeah I use that product so that's my my girl my hair growing product I don't use a lot of hair growing product because I feel like Using more than one growing air product, just not gonna. I don't feel like I don't know. I just don't. I just don't use more than one growing product. So that's my only growing product. Always moisturize. Like I don't know how to stress this enough. Always moisturize your air because dry air, obviously dry air, not gonna wear. So water is your best friend. With your ear I so when your ear dry all you have to do is just damp it with some water if you watch my last video make sure you go and check it out I damp I use this a lot so you have to damp your hair damp your hair and I use I have a leave-in conditioner the contour one yeah I use the water I use this this and this to moisturize my hair I use this like I use the wild growth hair or like every time I wash my hair yeah and about washing hair I'll get in I'll be getting into that later down in the video so this I use this to moisturize my hair just go check out my last video and you see how I use this and this yeah so this is a leave-in conditioner it, it helps to make your hair manageable so if you have really thick hair this is good for you and it moisturizes your hair and it helps with damaged hair and dry hair so yeah this i use this and this with water to keep my hair moisturized i mean your hair you don't you must i don't i personally don't moisturize my hair every day so i won't cap but when I feel like it's dry, like when I actually notice that it's dry, I do the moisturizing thing and yeah. So that's how I moisturize my hair and make sure that your hair is always moisturized as well. Okay, the next step is massage your scalp. First of all, massaging your scalp is the best feeling. Like it feels so good. I don't know why nobody would massage your scalp. <laughs> so yeah, massage your scalp. When you massage your scalp, it helps grow your hair because it circulates the blood and circulate so the circulation of the blood like helps grow your, help grow your hair. What am I saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. So just basically just massage your hair. Like I can't read right now because my hair is in one and I don't want to pull it up. But yeah, just in circular motion when your hair is out just massage it and make sure that your growing product is in your hair at the time so that it actually I get into it and the roots and you know just get it all in and you know me sir. yeah so the next the next thing is get a I really don't know what this is called I think it's something about satin or yes yeah, satin or something like that but yeah it's a head wrap basically so I, I wrap my hair with this like every night if I don't use this I use my black bonnet like you guys would, maybe you guys have seen me in it already so yeah when you're going to your bed you tie your hair with this and keep it you just keep it together yet yeah, so that um the stuff the products in your ear now gets all over your bed and then it's gonna affect your face and then bumps are gonna start pop up and just tie your ear and the next thing is about as I talk about bed and pillow as I talk about bed and pillow um 
I use a silk pillowcase. Use a silk pillowcase because, I mean, it's good for your face and it just, I don't know, I don't know. I just feel that, personally, I feel that it's better for me than the cotton. So yeah, that's why I'm recommending it, recommending it to you. Yeah, the next tip is don't wash your hair often often i know that sounds dirty like it probably is but that's what i do so you know how i said that i used to wash my hair every week every two weeks nah like i don't know why i really don't know why um why washing your hair every week isn't good for your hair uh, i'm gonna have to research that but yeah, I wash my hair like every three weeks or once a month or every four weeks, which is basically once a month. So every three weeks or every four weeks, I wash my hair. And my product, I don't really have a, I use any, I basically, I don't even know what's the name of the shampoo. I just buy a shampoo and wash my hair. And yeah, I don't do much to grow my hair. All I do is just use the couple products that i show you and yeah that's basically i really don't do a lot so basically just leave it here to time cut your split ends and moisturize the hair and yeah so the next tip is when you you know when you're combing out your hair you don't want to you do not want to comb from the root you comb from the hands all right so i have a big teeth comb right you're coming from the root see you're coming from the root of your hair not the root you're coming from the ends of your hair go down so you comb here like this and then you go down more and you comb and then you go down more so you basically start from the ends you're starting from the ends to the root that's good so that you're gonna get split ends as well and it's basically just try your best to keep your ear from getting split ends and damaged that's basically all you have to do keep your hair from heat you almost hear this a lot but yeah like i won't cap i use if y'all on my instagram which you should go you should go and check out at underscore barbs period underscore and it will be in my description um yeah so what was i saying yeah don't use heat and if you do use heat like flat iron and blow dryer you, you get a heat protector so i, I have this heat protector i hope y'all can see yeah i have this i got it from family dollar yeah and i have this like because I already put heat in my hair and when I do I, I, I flat iron my hair like once every two months or once a month or I don't really eat yeah. so and the way I want and when I'm blow drying my hair I hardly do I only blow dry my hair when I'm in a rush so what I do when I finish wash my hair um I get a t-shirt an old t-shirt cut it so it can like you know or you don't just put it over your head like i don't know how to demonstrate it but you must know or forget around it just use a t-shirt and wrap around your head and tie it and make the water soak out and dry but when i'm in a rush i use this i spray this in my hair first and then i blow dry it or i spray this in my hair first and then i flat iron it so yeah, try your best to keep your hair from heat. And if you do have to use heat in your hair, get a hair, get a heat protector. It's not a tip. This is the got to be glue that I was talking about in my previous video. Y'all should go and check that out. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to use this so that it doesn't tear out your hair. Alright, so this is the got to be glue. It's supposed to be used for wigs, I guess. Like. I don't know. I don't really wear wigs or falls in. But if I do, it's a box braid or a ponytail or something. But yeah, um, it's supposed to be used for wigs, 
but me i use it for my hair like my natural hair so you know like when your hair is short and you try to catch it up like this but then the back like kind of leave out and you know one that like that's not cute so you use this and you apply it to the back of your hair like this and you know just brush it in and make sure it neat and all of that when you finish you now when you're trying to get like when you're trying to change your hairstyle or get out the ponytail or whatever basically when you're just pulling out your hair don't just use the comb don't just use the comb and comb out try combing it out because if you do that then it's gonna tear out that's when it's gonna tear out so what you do is you get water you get water and you spray where the where you put the got to be glue so when you spray it there now it basically it loose up the product so continue spray and spray until you feel like you can feel the product on your hands and when that do, when it's damp enough when you feel you, you're gonna know when it's damp enough when it's damp enough then you slowly comb it with a big teeth comb if i use a tail comb or a fine teeth comb it is going to tear out so use a try you try using a big teeth comb and just take time you have to have patience yeah your hair is just having patience for it to grow and have patience to comb out the, the got to be glue because it's really strong and yeah yeah i left out a really important tip that if you if you buy a product and you've been using it for two months and it's not working then fine you can change you can change your you can change the product but if you buy it for just for a week and you see that it's not and you feel like it's not working then don't change it i mean your ear it's not magic your ear is not going to grow in a week or maybe you will as i said it depends on your genes but if you buy a product and you say that it's not if you buy a product for just a week or a couple of days and you don't see any result that's totally normal because your hair is not going to magically grow overnight or for a week or nothing so just don't put, try not to change up your products often like make your hair get used to the make your hair get used to the one product and yeah it will start gravitating to it and start working in your flavor so as it as i said just have patience and uh, yeah so that's all my tips that i have for you guys and i really hope that it, it helped you and if it did dm me in my in, on my instagram and i'll try my best to answer you and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and yeah video is gonna be my morning routine so basically what i do when i when i get up what i do and it's gonna be so much fun because it's just gonna be so much fun so just turn on your post notification so when i post it you get notified and you could be the first one to watch so yeah like share and subscribe and i hope you all enjoy this